Hello friends, welcome back. My name is PK. In this video, you will learn 15 Windows 11 shortcut keys to improve your productivity. So let's start without delay. The first one is Windows key plus A. To open quick setting panel, we can press Windows key in our keyboard with A. As you press Windows key plus A, this quick setting panel will be opened from where you can change your Wi-Fi, your Bluetooth devices or in aeroplane mode you can set your brightness as well as you can change the volume also. The next shortcut key is Windows key plus C. If you want to open quickly Microsoft Teams to chat with your colleagues or friends you can simply press Windows key plus C. Quickly it will open the Microsoft Teams on your screen and we can start chatting. The next shortcut key is Windows key plus E. If you want to quickly open the file explorer simply press Windows key plus E. It will open the file explorer quickly like here I have opened. Next one is Windows key plus Alt plus R. If you want to record a video and you want to save it in a folder, you can simply press Windows key plus Alt R. It will capture your screen and will save a video in videos folder automatically. Let's say here we have this Excel file and I want to record a small video of this Excel file. I can simply press Windows key Alt and R together. You can see on the top video recorder has been started if you will do any activity here that will be captured okay let's say I'm changing this chart all right now let me stop this so automatically this will be saved to your videos folder if I will go to the videos folder in the capture this video will be saved let me show you you can see on the top video recorder has been started if you will do any activity Alright, so it is working. Now let me quickly show you the next shortcut key number 5 that is Windows key plus N. If you want to see the quick notifications, you can simply press Windows key and N. It will open your notification pane here and you can see all the notifications. Okay, you can clear all them from here also. Now let's see the next one which is number 6 Windows key plus H. If you want to launch quickly speech to text then you can press Windows key plus H. Let me show you the example. Let's say here I have this notepad and I want to type something here. I don't want to use the keyboard. I will just use speech to text. So I can simply press Windows plus H shortcut key. Now here you can see it has opened this and whatever I am talking right now it is just typing on the notepad screen. You can see my notepad screen it is typing there. Alright to stop this just click on this button. Now it is stop and you can close this. So quickly if you want to type anywhere on any screen like word or notepad anywhere you can just press alt h and you can start speaking and you can just type that. You don't need to type manually. It is very very helpful while you are working on some document or if you can simply read that document and that will be typed automatically here. Now let's move to the next shortcut key that is windows key plus or minus button if you want to use quickly magnifier and zoom in and zoom out using that you can simply press windows key plus or minus button let me show you let's say i'm at desktop and i want to zoom in and zoom out then you can simply press windows key plus button then this magnifier will be opened press again plus button again you can zoom in and similarly you can zoom out also using minus button okay if you have some image or some text which is not readable you can zoom in that text irrespective of the application now the next shortcut key is windows plus alt plus print screen Using the Windows key plus Alt plus print screen, you can take and save a snapshot in your pictures folder or the videos folder. So 
so you can simply press let's say for the active screen i'm just pressing windows key alt and print screen together snapshot has been taken and will be saved to your videos or picture folder let me go to the videos folder so you can see we have this snapshot here this one okay now let's go to the next that is windows shift as if you want to take the snapshot manually by selecting the area which you want to take for example i want to take the snapshot of my excel file of this chart so i'll use the windows shift key and s together then this mode will be activated and here we can select let's say this range it is copied all so if i will paste that here it is a picture now and same will be saved to the pictures folder also let me show you here in the screenshot it is saved okay now next shortcut key which is windows key plus arrow key using the windows key and the arrows key you can snap the active window according to the arrow key let me explain you so let's say i'm at this excel and if i will press windows and up arrow then you can see on the half screen i can see the excel and rest uh, other screen i can see my other apps so let's say i am activating this uh, notepad then on the half screen i can see the notepad on the half screen i can see the excel and for this notepad i am pressing windows and right key then you can see it has moved to the right and uh, in the rest area i can see the other apps also so similarly for this excel also if i am pressing windows and left then it is on the left and if i will press windows down or right or up then it is on full screen so you can simply adjust if you want to see the two apps together just press windows left for the one another one you can press windows right and you can see both apps together all right now let's see the next shortcut key which is windows key plus p if you want to project your screen to a projector then you can press windows key plus p then this project screen will be opened and from here you can choose you want to project pc screen only or you want to make your screen duplicate extend or second screen only you can decide from here now next key is the windows key plus t here you can switch between the apps of the taskbar open or pinned so let me show you if i'll come to the desktop and here we have multiple application opened and few are pinned to my taskbar if i'll press windows key plus t then you can see the first outlook is selected and i can use the right key to move to the next app and uh, i will be able to select the other apps wherever i will press the simple enter that app will be opened okay so this is the quick shortcut key to access the taskbar now the next one is shift plus left mouse click in the taskbar if we use the shift key plus left mouse click in the taskbar we can quickly create a new instance of the app for example let me show you here we have one excel file opened you can see no other excel file is open we have only one excel file i want to open quickly new excel file so rather than pressing the control n let's say if it is in minimize i can simply press shift key and then i can left click here as i click the left click the new and blank excel file will be opened similarly let's say i want to open a new notepad so here we have the notepad i can simply click shift and left key new notepad window is open i want to open the new explorer window simply press shift key and here just click so new blank explorer will be open all right so irrespective of the app you can simply open the new instance of that using shift plus left click now the next shortcut key is which is number 14 control plus w earlier we were using this shortcut key with the microsoft excel or the other office apps like word to 
close the application control plus w now this is available for all of the application but this is available with the latest version of windows 11 only for example this notepad if i will press control plus w that notepad will be closed okay or i have opened this explorer i can simply press control plus w that will be closed earlier we were using alt plus f4 now we can use the control plus w now the next shortcut key is control shift and escape using the control shift and escape we can quickly open the task manager so let's see control shift plus escape then the task manager is opened here you can see the cpu allocation for each task or you can simply right click and click on end task to close that task okay these are few shortcut keys we have discussed you can visit our website to learn more shortcut keys for the windows here we have given more than 75 shortcut keys provide the link in videos description box you can download the pdf file also from here for these shortcut keys and you can take the printout and you just put it on your desk and practice it regularly you can improve your productivity in your daily life friends i hope you have enjoyed this video if you like this video please hit the like button and please subscribe my channel to get the regular update of my videos thank you so much for watching